Lumbrical muscle got its name from lumbricus. It's a Latin word which means worm because the muscle appears worm-like. We have four lumbrical muscles. First, second, third, and fourth. And before we proceed, the blue lines are our flexor digitorum profundus tendons. And from now on, let's call them FDP tendons. Origin of the lumbrical muscles. They originate from our flexor digitorum profundus tendons or FDP tendons. Before we proceed, the first and second lumbricals are unipennate and the third and fourth lumbricals are bipennate. When we say unipennate and bipennate, I am reminded of this feather. For instance, this is the tendon. If it's bipennate, muscles are on both sides. And if it's unipennate, it's only on one side. Bipennate. The first lumbrical arises on the radial side of the FDP tendon. If I say radial side, it's on the side which is near the radial bone. So we say it's on the radial side. So it originates from the FDP tendon on its radial side of the FDP tendon. And then the insertion is here. It passes to the radial side of the corresponding finger and is inserted to the lateral margin of the extensor expansion. When I say extensor expansion, these are the blue ones on the dorsal aspect of our digits. So those are the insertion sites on the lateral margin of the extensor expansion. The second lumbrical arises from the radial side of the FDP tendon for the middle finger. And it passes again to the radial side of the corresponding finger and is attached to the lateral margin of the extensor expansion. The third lumbrical arise from adjacent tendons of the middle finger and the ring finger and it passes to the radial side of the corresponding finger which is the ring finger and is attached to the lateral margins of the extensor expansion. The fourth lumbrical arises from the adjacent tendons of the ring finger and the little finger and it passes to the radial side of the corresponding finger which is the little finger and is inserted to the lateral margin of the extensor expansion. So as we can see their insertions are all on the radial side of our digits. Radial meaning on the side of the radius. So those are the insertions on the lateral margin of the extensor expansion and these are the origins. So all of them went this way. Radial side. Radial, radial. This is radial side radial side because it's on the side of the radius. When we say ulnar side, it would be here, 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 and here. Ulnar side. But for this muscle, they pass through the radial side. All of them pass through the radial side, going to the extensor expansion. Now we go to the function. The lumbricals flex the metacarpophalangeal joint and extend the proximal interphalangeal joint and the distal interphalangeal joint. 
So it flexes the metacarpophalangeal joint and extends the interphalangeal joint. It flexes BMCP. That ends our lesson. Flexion of MCP and extension of interphalangeal joint. Thank you. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for our lumbrical lessons for today. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.